What's up guys? Tyler here with Tarver Academy and guess what? We are gonna learn about the Lincoln Memorial. There it is. Right there, do you see it? See the little chicken nugget? Hey man, what's up? Sorry. No, you're great, you're great. You're amazing. So the committee to build the Lincoln Memorial was started in 1865. You're like, that sounds familiar. That's the year Lincoln died. So they're trying to jump on it immediately. They talked about the deets of this for like almost 40 years before people could actually go in here. Everything was pretty much done around April of 1917, but then they did not let people start going in and finalize it until 1922. And you're like, what happened between 1917 and 1922? Well, that would happen to be World War I. Remember that little guy? They didn't call it World War I at the time, unless they were really pessimistic. They would just call it like World War. And then they had a second one, so then they started numbering them. Let's stop at two. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Washington Monument. That's the Lincoln Memorial. So Speaker of the House, Joe Cannon, back in like the early 1900s, he was super against building it in this location. And he said the reason was is because it was a trashy area. There was like a swamp here, it was like bad terrain, and there were dead bodies that would bounce up every now and then. I mean, they didn't bounce, but they would appear here. And so he was like, as long as I live, they'll never build a Lincoln Memorial Abraham Lincoln in this area. He cursed, I didn't curse. I said, he didn't say Blanken, I said Blanken. They called him Uncle Joe. Like, I like the picture there, they called him Uncle Joe, Speaker of the House. I don't know why I said it like that. Joe Cannon, Uncle Joe, if you will. The Cannonites, not what they were called. His supporters, they were actually approved to relocate this to Union Station, which was like a central hub for transportation in the day. And they approved it. Teddy Roosevelt, President Teddy Roosevelt, approved it. You know what happened after that? The American Institute of Architects were like, no, no, let's do that here. And so they swap a it back to this location. So a couple of Italian dudes who were helping like design all this, um, they're Italian, so obviously like Roman like history and stuff. So they modeled a ton of the stuff they did in designing this after like Roman culture. So for instance, check. Did you see those pillars? Those pillars, those are actually like these things called facades, fasces, F-A-S-C-E-S. -E like a bundle of sticks which represented power back in the Roman Empire, Roman, Roman days, if you will, Roman culture. Oh, I'm really sweaty. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, Tyler, this doesn't look Roman. This looks very Greek in style on the outside. Well, you're right. Bacon, something Bacon, I don't remember his first name, doesn't matter. He was one of the chief architects and he wanted to pull from a lot of Greek stuff. And whenever people were opposing that, he said, here's my thing. The guy who defended democracy should be dedicated by the place that was the birthplace of democracy, which was Greece. It's too hot out there, I had to come back inside. A couple of the crazy ideas, I say crazy, they probably weren't crazy at the time, they're throwing out everything, but a few of the ideas that were rejected for the design of this building were that it modeled a Mesopotamian ziggurat, a a, uh, Mayan temple and even Egyptian pyramid. How sick would that have been to have an Egyptian pyramid? He could be in the Memphis pyramid. <gasps> we could do this at the Me Memphis pyramid. That'd be sick. Think about it, Lincoln. So this is not actually the first Lincoln Memorial that was built. So like two years before this project came to be in Washington, they actually built a standing monument to Lincoln in Lincoln, Nebraska. And that thing still sits on the like capital of Nebraska's like front steps of their state capital. So that's pretty cool. And also the base of it was still designed by the bacon guy we talked about earlier. I should probably remember his first name. You can Google it. So the original plans for that little guy was it was gonna be 10 feet tall. But whenever they started putting it in here, like the grandeur of this place, they were like, we gotta make him bigger. So they actually increased him to, like Mario, 19 feet tall. That's taller than I am. So the project wasn't actually completed until May of 1922. And so a lot of the people that were around when Lincoln was there hadn't lived to see this. But a 78 year old man by the name of Robert Todd Lincoln, his son, not the statue, but the real Lincoln. His son was the only surviving child of Lincoln to be able to see it in May of 1922. That's pretty cool. So one of the unproven theories about the monument is, check this out. See his hands right there and right there? Some historians believe that that is actually a nod to sign language, because um, those mean A and L in sign language. Abraham Lincoln, see what he did there? How are you? Hey. This right here, 
This is the South Wall. They have the Gettysburg Address on. You know, you know the, you know the beginning of it. Four score and seven years ago. A score is 20 years, so it's 87 years. You're welcome. Learning math with history. Two for one. All right. Excuse me. Sorry. So the Lincoln Memorial is. Oh goodness, it's so bright. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you guys. Do you know anything cool about the Lincoln Memorial? Do what? No, it's important. Uh, yeah. It's, uh... Making videos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I didn't speak English. I don't speak their language. The Lincoln Memorial stands about 99 feet tall and 202 feet wide. Okay, and you're thinking, oh wow, that's a fair amount of height and weight. And you're, well, here's the fun fact. It's actually 40% of the entire memorial. The rest of it is underground. It goes 66 feet down. And they had to do that because they had to make it sturdy because this is marble. Marble's pretty heavy. A lot of you guys might be surprised to know this. I can't pick that up. It's pretty heavy. It's true. I can't pick it up. I can't. Can y'all? No, no, me neither. No way. It's way too. I need to work out. I do some, do some, uh, take some protein shakes. That's good. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me with this video. Those are some fun facts about the Lincoln Memorial. You guys stay sweet, stay safe. Subscribe if you want. Tarver Academy. Peace. The Lincoln Memorial. See you, fella. I see you. Washington Monument, we coming for you.